Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com, here with Sandro from Gitzo. He is one of their product managers. We're going to talk about the Gitzo line of tripods. Uh, I have always wanted one, thought about buying one, haven't stepped up to do it. Um, as I was telling you a story earlier about uh, the, the one photographer in college, one of my, my, uh, my teachers that had one and he loved it, but I just never stepped up. So tell us why you should step up up to a real Gitzo top of line, as you described it, the Ferrari of tripods. tripods. Gitzo is for the photographer that's in a, that's professional to pro hobbyist. Pro hobbyist to professional. They're the ones that like to travel, like to have one tripod and use it when they're at the beach taking photos of you know the the horizon or surfers, something quick. Um, or they go up in the mountains and take pictures of those and go up landscape. They do architectural photography because our tripods go up very, very high. They're very light, so a lot of people like to travel with them because they can put them in their carry-on and they're able to bring them without the worry of, will my luggage be like it arrive with me at my destination? There, um, when, when I travel, you know, I, I want to have my tripod with me, but some, but when you carry a Gitzo, you kind of don't know it's there because it's very, very light. You're already carrying your very big lens. You're already carrying your, your you know, expensive camera body. You want to have something that's going to be able to withstand uh, what you want to do, yet, yet kind of offset the weight. Um, by having a lighter one, but can still carry a high weight rating. Okay. Yeah, these things are definitely a lot lighter. Like you handed me that monopod, yeah. and you could barely even feel it. it. You know, even when it was fully extended, you barely even know that it's there. Yep. So we have the monopod here, um, or as some people would think as a lightsaber. Um, <laughs> we have the new leg locks in it as well. And um, the carbon fiber is we call it carbon exact. It's thinner than the predecessor. It's five nanometers versus seven nanometers. Mm -hmm. Giving it less air bubbles and making it more stiff, making okay. it more dense, making it longer lasting than it already is. Okay. Um, making it for a more durable, durable uh, carbon fiber. And they're made in a method where it'll last for a very, very long time. Okay. The G-Lock system on it as well has the internal O-ring that prevents salt and salt water and sand from entering. Uh, we used to have the Ocean Series. The Ocean Series had those huge leg locks where you can submerge the entire tripod underwater and no water would go in. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to discontinue that, but what we're doing now is investing our time and money in making a better leg lock on every single one of our tripods. Uh, we're starting that with the Mountaineer Series and we're starting that with the Traveler Series as well that came out in July. Very nice. Yeah, those locks seem very, really, really easy to use and quick. Even one-handed, I was able to, to, to really undo that. And then it's locked again, and it's not going to move. It's not going to pop out, not at all, yeah. which is which is a really nice feature. And, you know, from from the past, Gitzo had leg locks that you would have to open the locks one at a time. Now you open all of them, and you're able to open the whole thing within one motion and then start locking them on there. Yep. And then closing it would be the same thing where you close the entire entire thing and then lock them all together and you're done. Very nice. Very nice. Let's talk about the the tripods and also you said you released the new heads this year. Yes, we did release the new heads July, in July. Uh, it's now at almost every dealer um, that's currently here at Photo Plus. We released with the new center ball heads the Traveler series. The Traveler series makes use of the carbon exact tubes that I just talked about, mm -hmm. as well as the G-Lock system. But the biggest thing that we have uh, updated this year is the center ball heads. The center ball heads um, is something that we were not very strong on in the past, but now we're able to use this. We use very high quality materials because that's what the Gitzo photog the Gitzo user expects from the Gitzo brand. We use tungsten disulfide as the as the uh, coating on the ball. That tungsten disulfide is being used in engine pistons for race cars or other cars as well. Okay. So you can imagine how much mileage you can get out of this. Yeah. Um, the demand of our photographers as well is to have the screw knob technology on here so we can fit a lot of archetype plates, L brackets, all different types of archetype plates. As long as it's ARCA compatible, it will fit into this new system that we did, uh, that, that we added onto our system. Another thing is besides the 
separate pan lock and ball lock. Mm -hmm. The ball lock that we had in the past pushes the ball left to right or right to left, however you're looking at it. This time it pushes the ball up, making it more gravity centric. You have a big piece of equipment, you have a heavy piece of equipment at the top weighing down. If you have a ball lock from, uh, from on the left side of it and you have the camera this way, there's a risk of slippage. Mm -hmm. Now that it is coming from the bottom and going up, it is more gravity centric and makes it lock more evenly all throughout. Yep. Um, this is the GH1382 TQD, T for Traveler. The larger version, this one being one of them, has a friction knob right here. For bigger cameras, this one can take 40 pounds. For bigger cameras you would and, and longer lenses, you would, when you unlock the ball, you would want to have a little bit of friction in there so that it doesn't slip and fall right away. Okay. So right now there's a little bit of friction on there, so you're able to move it. You're able to um, move it at your own pace versus it falling over because there's not a lot of friction. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. Now, the, the tripod heights range from what to what? So the Traveler series ranges from uh, three and a half feet to five and a half, uh, five and a half, six feet. Um, with the because the uh, the ball the ball head is a lot taller than a lot of the other ball heads out there, mm -hmm. we're adding a lot more height to it. The new leg locks have made the Traveler a lot taller than its predecessor, between about four to six inches taller. Okay. The tra the um, the Mountaineer series ranges from three and a half feet to seventy five inches, so about um, six six plus feet, uh, you know, s seven feet. Mm -hmm. And then we have the systematic series that range all the way to 110 inches. So okay. and it's about nine feet. Wow. Yeah, there's one here that's above us that's I can't even reach the top of it. That it's yeah. probably another foot on top of my finger. That's definitely a pretty pretty tall tripod for a studio or whatever. And it's it's being it, it's actually one of the best sellers that we have um, because it is one of the only tripods that goes up that high that can take a lot of weight. Yeah. What do you know the weight rating off the top of your head? It's about 88 pounds. Okay. Um, and it doesn't come with a with a. Uh, with a center column, but you can purchase center columns on it if you want to add a center column to that, to a lot of the systematic tripods. It's just does, this plate right here. Does that change the weight rating on it? Um, the weight rating does not change because it's, we're talking about the spider. Okay. Um, how, much, how much weight can this piece take? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really change as much. Um, again, with the platform here, if you put a ball, if this tripod in itself is 88 pounds, if you put a ball head with a weight rating of 40 pounds, Everything is now 40 pounds, yep. um, and that would just make sense. If you have a 4x5 that you put on here directly to the tripod, it can be up to 88 pounds, mm -hmm. which we never really see anyway, but no. it's no. just there as a precautionary. Um, it, it, you're able to add up to that. It will not fail at 89 pounds, but at least you have the opportunity to put as much of a contraption onto your systematic tripods that you would want. Okay. Very good. Well, if you guys want to step up to a real tripod, this is definitely the way to go, and I'm really hoping to be able to get into a Gitzo finally. Um, Ed Marco, that was his name. That was a teacher's name from way back when. It was Ed Marco, and he had he probably had this one, probably that height, and he would he would dangle on that thing. It was amazing. Probably not something that you guys want to do, want want people to do, but he was able to do it, and it hand, it, it could handle it. And and that's the beauty of the brand too. You have people talking about it and really pushing people you need to get a get so you, at some point in your photographic career when you get to that point purchase a get so because that is going to be the last tripod you'll ever own and as as people learn in their careers they're able to understand and appreciate higher quality items and they're able to purchase that and it will be with them forever mm -hmm. very good buy a get so tripod thanks guys keep shooting see ya